Engel has been bringing you the latest on Leah Thompson, the UPenn athlete who's up any women swimming. Now, Thomas is a biological male who is absolutely dominating the pool. Teammates and parents are absolutely livid. Last week, the USA swimming official Cynthia uh, uh, Millen announced on this show that she was quitting over the entire situation. Men swim eight to 12 percent faster than women. Men have larger lung capacity, skeleton, circulatory mm. system, heart, and nothing that Leah did by taking a year off to take the testosterone suppression drugs, that does not change Leah's body. So every time Leah mm. jumps into the pool, it's a man who is competing against women. This is grossly unfair. So of course, Leah Thomas isn't the only trans athlete out there. She's part of a growing trend. One that has 11 time NCAA All-American swimmer, Jerry Chanteau sounding the alarm. So Jerry joins me right now. So Jerry, you know, you had a pretty distressing warning for us about the future of women's sports. What is it? Yes, thank you for having me. My message this evening is a call to action. And it is that what you see right now in women's athletics is going to be the extinction of women's sports in general. This is the beginning phases of what this looks like. We need people to understand what is going on in athletics. We need people to understand that this is a complete discrimination of women. And what is happening that we do not have our institutions and our universities and our governing bodies standing by watching this unfold is complete neglect. So Jerry, that's what's frustrating to me because I couldn't agree with you more. This is an absolute threat to women's sports. Um, and so I wonder, you know, where are all the Olympic athletes? Where are all the college athletes that are women? Where's the NCAA? Where are moms and dads? I mean, there should be outrage across the country. And there's very few people who are standing up and sounding the alarm like you. Yes, absolutely. But we live in a culture where people are scared. The cancel culture, people lose their livelihoods. Uh, the UPenn women did write a letter and they had to be anonymous because it's scary for them. And what they're risking is their entire livelihoods thereafter. It's people like me who hopefully start a trend to encourage more people to speak up. Anybody that can do anything, this affects all of us. We have mothers and daughters and sisters and aunts. This is a women's issue. If you care about women, you should care about this cause. And unfortunately, it's really hard for everyone to speak out right now. And I actually have empathy for their position. Um, I take great responsibility in trying to speak up and do something. And hopefully there will be a wave thereafter. And Jerry, I think you're right because um, courage begets more courage with others and people like you standing up is, is important. But I wanna bring you here because earlier this month, Politico reported that the Biden administration indicated its plan to include in the new Title IX rules, a range of protections for transgender students, including their rights to participate in school sports. So Jerry, what's your reaction? This could actually become law that transgender boys get to, by law, compete against women. I mean, my reaction to that is the same reaction I'm having over all of this. How do we not understand that if we do not use sex as our identifier, we are going to make women obsolete in general and not just in athletics? It is a standard in which we use because male bodies competing against women does not uphold what we believe in fairness of sport. And it will trickle down to everything else in life. Jerry, I get it with swimming, right? I mean, you're, you're, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a timed event, it's a racing event, but you're not touching anybody. I'm concerned, what happens when transgender boys start playing women's hockey or you know, kickboxing or karate where you have physical contact? I mean, I think the results can be you know, quite devastating. And frankly, I think a lot of women are too great for injury. Well, you make a great point. Young women, what we are setting the standard for, if we do not do something now, we are going to look at young women and our daughters, and we are going to say, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, it will not matter and you do not matter. That is the message that societally we are preparing ourselves to send to the next generation across the board if we do not do something now. And we need a political movement. We need people to care 
We need laws enacted to help the discrimination that is happening yeah. against women currently. Jerry, you are you are 100 right, and every mom and dad, every coach should stand up right now and speak with you to make this end and give sports back to girls. So listen, Jerry, thank you for joining me tonight, and thank you for lending your voice to all those young girls. Uh, who don't have the power that you have to speak out. We appreciate it. All right, still